it's Saturday morning. Just put a little bit of fuel to the boiler. I said to Charlotte, well, that's really good. Clara only woke up once in the night. And she said, are you joking? She woke up three times, but I just slept through it. Yeah, I'm just gonna put a little bit of, bit of fuel in here. I like to run it low just to make sure that there's no big bits in it. While I'm doing this, you can see what Hannah's been up to in Australia, driving some really big tractors. Here's some bits and snippets that she sent. Also, don't forget to follow on Instagram. on the mini mellow it proper flies when you put your foot down and then when you like break it uh, then like recharge yourself and i'm just gonna route this trailer out for charlotte she wants to take the dog field so she doesn't have to empty the bin into the new car but the trailer's the wrong way around so i'm just gonna turn it with the forks hopefully like, probably might need a strap actually Unless I can just curl this round, perhaps. Hmm. It's going. Need like a, a hole in the end of the pin that you put a ball itch on. To be honest, I could get the buggy on it now and pull it out with the buggy. Or just back in this gap because it's so manoeuvrable. Just push it right round. do should just be able to back to it now Neil's coming for some more straw and I'm not sure this pallet fork's gonna go wide enough to get that maybe it wants to be one that's on a carriage it'll go wider than that we'll try anyway let's see if it fits take the handbrake off that's hidden Be close, isn't it? Yeah, it's well off. That's annoying, isn't it? To move it with the other one. Actually, I've just, I just got them in. I'll do. At least they're narrow enough to go under the pallet behind of bricks. Now this is a gap that not even a mini merlot would fit in, and this one's pretty close. Um, I've had the quote now for repairing this pillar so need to get him on with that we didn't want him doing it in the summer because the scaffolding would have been in the way but it won't be now yeah let's grab this pallet of bricks let it reach it let it pick it up at full boom that's fully out let's see let's go in a bit more I don't know how heavy a pallet of bricks is but no I'll have to drive in a bit more. Picks it up no problem when you pull the boom in a little bit. Knows it's got it on though, it's, say it's yellow. Neil's in now on the blue Valtra, which you can't see because the bail are in the way. There it is. He's managed to keep it clean as well. It's got, hey, it's got a side wiper on it. It's good, isn't it? time-lapse camera unfortunately fell over but here's a quiz question how many bales of straw have we got on that trailer let me know in the comments got a bit of room in the shed now that we can get the header in just got this broken bale and all the loose stuff but use that for lighting the bonfire at the village hall i think this box just arrived anyway this is what was in it all that how can you fit that in there it's off clark and pullman 
Thank you for your continued support. 15% off parts, air fresh, the key ring, pad, pen, sweets, hat, cups. Brilliant, thank you. You can tell it's a cold day. A lot of the fans in the wheat are running. Just opening the door. They're here for a load of wheat, so I'm just gonna weigh him in and get him out of the yard again and get something to eat. All loaded up now. Is it me or does another plate say Q8? Just gonna have a quick mooch of how wet everywhere is and call on my mate Stephen at his workshop because he's making something quite exciting. Stephen's on his computer there, but this is what's going on. See how it's, this is a 3D printer, printing stuff out of plastic. It's a bit like a big wire roller. It's rolling the plastic in, different colors. You've got green and black digitally printing this so it is a replica of one of our sheds so we, it, we're going to see what it costs and how long it takes to make but we thought people might want to buy like little sheds for the farm toys so it's made all modular so you can buy you know different panels so see the detail in that it's got like a black line so it looks like it's corrugated and then you've got the uprights click into bases and then you've got concrete panels here that lock together with these little holes into into there like that where is it there we go and then you've got recesses to screw it down because obviously you'd screw it to a piece of wood so you can move it around easier but once we've got the roof right which is what it's kind of printed at the moment and if it screws up the floor we're going to see if anyone's interested in them for, for the it's what is it 132 yeah britain scale britain scale but obviously you can still put other size tractors in because it's still quite high but yeah it's, there you go it's making the panels the problem is we think it probably takes two days to build a shed that big, which is obviously a lot of time. But we'll see when we finish, make a prototype first. A close up of it, making the cable end panels. Right, hot, hot off the press, apart from it, has, we have just let it cool. These are going to go on here then. Yeah, we've got to take the support off them first. Take the support. Any screws out to pick it out. If you let it cool, the support comes out easier. It's a little bit soft. Have we got anything for scale? Other than a SpaceX rocket? <laughs> yeah so <laughs> there we go we've just got to make the roof now that's been 3d printed that make the roof uh, and work out how to fit it on but how good does it look look at concrete panels yeah there's a scale there's a bottle of that on <laughs> <laughs> yeah so what do you think do you think there's a market for them or not we thought we'd better get ahead before it floated away ridiculously wet all week I've wanted to move the header but I didn't want to put mud on the road but now it's got so wet that we won't put mud on the road because the wheels will get washed driving through the water but what a year it's ridiculous James is trying to loop on the drier ground but even that's scratted couldn't loop in the water because it was even wetter so we thought oh we'll go with the dry bit but now look what a joke I can't wait till 2023 is over oh well no wood on the road It's 
massive being a header in it when you look at it at different angles. It's hard to believe really that it's six days since we were caught mining that field. You know, now it's got six inches of water lay in it. It's just mental. It's musical. Musical chairs with the uh, 1056 again. Sorry, 1455. What gear are we in here? That's backwards. That's forwards. Yeah, not enough shed space again, so taking this out so I can put wood chip in here. Put it back where it was the other day. Hopefully it won't get too wet. Morgan's going on a track to run tomorrow, so I thought this might jump start it, but to be honest, it's 87%. I don't think that's come on. Oh, the leads are warm, it must have done. This was the chip that was put on yesterday, now bone dry. So that goes into the other shed where I've just took the 1455 out of. Problem with doing this in the dark, you get a lot of steam coming off the bucket, reflecting off the lights. Morgan's off. Lazeri on, going on a track to run tomorrow. Looks like someone's having a bonfire, and we've got a big flood again. It's a bit dark, but we'll quickly do the birthday bumper. Gareth Smith, 34. Harry Ferguson, not sure if it's the Harry Ferguson or Harry Ferguson. Robert Hills, 21. Daniel Abbott's 50. Alan McCormick's on there. And Edward Andrew Simons, £51,089. Happy birthday, everyone on there and anyone else whose birthday is today. I'm going to call it a day. Do you want more updates from Australia? Should we tell Hannah to send us more video clips? Also, don't forget to follow the her and the farm on Instagram. There's the two kind of uh, Instagram accounts on there. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching today and I'll see you all tomorrow.